I think the biggest disease this world suffers from in this day and age is a disease of people feeling unloved. And I know that I can give with love for a minute, for half an hour, for a day, for a month, and I can give, and I'm very happy to do that, and I want to do that. A lesser person would have been crushed and would have probably faded completely away. But um, Diana actually proved that she was made of good, solid, British upper lip material. People's agendas changed overnight. I was now separated, wife the Prince of Wales. Um, I was a problem. I was a liability, seen as. And um, how are we going to deal with her? This hasn't happened before. Because I do things differently. Because I don't go by a rule book. Because I lead from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. They see me as a, a threat of some kind. And I'm here to do good. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path. And I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? Why do the public still support her? I'd like to be a queen of people's hearts in people's hearts. But I don't see myself being queen of this country. She knew that she was the mother of uh, the future King of England and rather than going away in a hole and disappearing, which is what I'm, I'm sure the senior royals wanted her to do, Diana, you know, she blossomed. She blossomed incredibly and became, I think, every single person's ideal princess. Do you really believe that a campaign was being waged against you? Yes, I did, absolutely. Yeah. Why? Mm, I was a separated wife to the Prince of Wales. I was a problem, full stop. Never happened before. What do we do with her? Can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm. her? She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end. Because I believe that I have a role to fulfil.